Welcome to our September video blog here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. I'm Charlie Drozen. I'm Leah Dean. And we're here to bring you the market, real estate market summary for July. <laughs> Presenting July in September. Because it sometimes get, takes a while to get the numbers to us. We're also low, uh, shooting on the Steamboat Springs ski area. Behind us is what's called the Outlaw, the Outlaw Mountain, Mountain Coaster. Coaster. So it is roughly... It is the biggest mountain coaster in North America. 2,860 odd feet. Linear feet of track. And 400 feet of vertical drop. Cost about $20, I think. It, it, it opens up to, today. 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 It Today's opened up about day. three hours ago. We're still waiting for somebody <laughs> to come by. Oh, here comes somebody. You're about to see your first taste Ow! of the mountain coaster. So this is gonna be a year round attraction. So it will be open in winter as well as summer. At the moment, um, just in the interim, they're gonna be doing weekends only. And then obviously that'll change as we get closer to uh, ski season. And for those of you who are around and watching this early Thursday. Thursday the 21st from, from 3, 3 to 6 to p.m. 6. Community Appreciation Day. So the resort here is gonna be hosting a Community Appreciation Day. Um, everyone can come and you get one free ride on the mountain coaster. So if you'd like to try it out and you're in town, it'd be a perfect day to stop by. $68 million in transactions sold in July. That's up 9.5% from uh, last year, July. Total, we're up 25% year to date. Yep. Um, transactions themselves were up about just under 3%, um, 154 transactions. Um, that's up just under 8% overall year to date. So year to date in gross volume, we're up 25%. So obviously 2017 is shaping up to be a, a much improved over 2016, which is kind of what we're seeing in the market. Now, in terms of the sales themselves, of those 154 transactions, residential sales, 75% of those were uh, properties that were priced 600,000 or less. 61% of the transactions in July had a, had a mortgage associated with them, so roughly 39% were cash, so we're, we're actually seeing a little decrease in cash purchases mm -hmm. over the summer. Um, and 62% of buyers this month were also locals. Um, so again, people settling here in town. Now of the remaining 38% uh, of buyers, they were all domestic buyers, interstate um, or front range buyers. We have not had any international buyers again this uh, for July. So what we're going to expand on for this month is home pricing and price per foot. <laughs> Obviously when you're looking at price per foot, we have Edgemont, Bearclaw to my right. Down here we have Antlers and Christie. So anything that's ski in, ski out always is going to catch a premium. We're talking $500, $600, $700, up to $1,000 per foot for, for prime ski in, ski out real estate in, in the base area. If we look at the average price per square foot residential that um, we're currently sitting at year to date. We're looking at the downtown area, 373 a square foot. The mountain area, 345 a square foot. Fish Creek area, 322 a square foot. Um, Stagecoach has come up to 310 a square foot on average right now. Um, and West Steamboat, uh, which includes Steamboat 2, Heritage Park, Silver Spur, those sorts of areas, you're looking at 270 a square foot. The Great Recession started in about 2007, 2008. And obviously we saw a pretty sharp decline in prices from 2008 all the way to 2011 as we see on this scale. It was fairly flat up until 2012 and 2013 we started to recover quite a bit. I do want to point out the sharp appreciation of home prices in Stagecoach. You know, it's a little misleading because we did have a very large sale there recently. So that's, that, those numbers are probably a little skewed. Uh, roughly 5% appreciation model, which is what Kay Schiller is showing. So it's a, it's a good increasing in price per foot and a fairly healthy real estate market in Steamboat Springs. Thanks for tuning in to our September market report for Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Uh, again, we have the mountain coaster behind us. Come check it out. Come check it out. It just opened about two months late, but you know, better late <laughs> than ever. And it is going to be open year round. So during the ski season, bundle up, put on some goggles because yep. the snow is going to be Make sure flying. you dress warm. See you in Steamboat soon. Thank you. Bye.